Hey guys, Tony Porter, Rising Dice TV. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. We are right about to start some deep drive baseball. I've been playing uh, 1971 for, I guess, over a year now. Let me quickly look and see. Um, the Oakland A's are 55 and 36, very close to their actual record. They're in the first place. They uh, made it to the playoffs in 71. They lost in three consecutive games to the Baltimore Orioles. They're facing Baltimore, 70 and 21 today. So this ought to be a heck of a game. It's going to be Pat Dobson versus Diego Segui. And as we go, I will uh, give you some stats here and there so you get an idea. And uh, we're right about to start. So it's a little deep drive baseball version three. I updated my card from version two. It's both versions were good versions. Uh, three plays and flows a little bit easier and quicker. You're going to see this this game plays very, very fast. So uh, just a heads up. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think. Let's play ball. All right, so I got a couple of different things happening. So forgive the cards over the cards. I have one game card over another game cards. I hope that doesn't get you confused. <laughs> Try to ignore it. And uh, let's play ball. It's going to be, let's go over the lineups real quick. For the Baltimore Orioles in Oakland, Alameda County Coliseum. It is uh, Don Blue from the field, Tom Chopin, the right field, Brooks Robinson, the uh, outstanding defensive third baseman, Ben Third. Uh, Clean up is Frank, the Frank Robinson, the first baseman, Ben Fifth is Paul Blair, the center fielder. Andy Etcher, Ben the catcher, Ben Six Seven is uh, Davey Johnson. Eighth is Mark Belanger, the shortstop, and ninth is Pat Dobson. Basically the same team that faced the Mets in 69. Nice thing about playing the 70s is the team can change much. What really changes is the stats sometimes. For the Oakland Athletics, is Larry Brown, the shortstop, Joe Reed in the left field, George Hendrick, the right fielder, Epstein, the first baseman, the back cleanup, Bando, Rip, uh, rest in peace, the captain, Batting fifth and playing third base. Rick Monday, the center fielder, batting sixth. Seventh is Dave Duncan, the catcher. Dick Green, the second baseman. And Diego Sidney, the pitcher. Uh, let's play ball. Sidney is 4-2 um, with a 1.67 in the right. Let's do it. And this game requires three inside dice, which I have to grab. I got all my dice. Let's do it. Here's a pitch to Don Buford. He's a switch hitter. From the righty, Diego Sidney. And that's a 79. So remember, 0 to 49 is off the batter. 50 to 99 is off the pitcher. 79 uh, will be an outrange. What type of an out? It's a 5 because the green tells you it's a 5. And that's hit hard at the third baseman down the line. And it's, uh, he's batting the lefty. So he usually goes the opposite way. He hits it to Bando at third. Scoops it. Long throw to first. And in time to get. Buford might have to step one way. Here's Tom Chopin. Now, Tom Chopin, let me teach you a little bit about the splits. I don't know if you can see that, but on his card, he's got a circled left. That means he shouldn't face lefty batters because if he does, the pitcher's going to have him bent. So he should face righties with that circled uh, lefty. So that, that basically tells you he's uh, uh, in struggles against lefty pitchers. Let's uh, roll. So Diego Segui lines and moves to Tom Chopin. And that's a 73, and that's going to be a defensive chip. And I'll have my defensive chart up. Just going to roll from the dice. And that's an 80, so that'll be a ground ball to short. I didn't write down any numbers, but my shortstop is brown. And he is a 2. Ooh, this man, this man could buy him. What did I say? What was an 80? The shortstop and a 2. Well, he boots it. So Larry Brown, not a good shortstop at all. Makes the error in six. Terrible shortstop at a two to that. Alright. So now Chopin is on at first, and here's Brooks Robinson. Diego Segui to the belt. And that's a 36 that will be off the bat. It'll be an out of kind of an out. A hard hit ball to second base. Second baseman Green flips to the shortstop Brown. Over to Epstein, and it's a 4 6 3 double play. Ends the in. No runs, no hits. And uh, we move to the bottom of the first. 
Baltimore zero and the eighties come to that, so the Larry Brown leading it off. Need to get some hits, but Pat, Pat Dobson is a twenty game winner with a two ninety ERA. I don't know what's gonna happen here today. It doesn't always mean anything. Zero that is ripped and caught by the second baseman. So hit right on the screw, but right at David Johnson, who was ready for it. Here's Joe Rudy with a 34, and that'll be another out of six as a hard hit ball in the hole. And Belanger gets to it, walks to the first, and he gets Rudy. So Belanger showing off the cannon. Two out, and George Hendricks. That's a 0 3, and that's one base hit to left, so he rips one. Single for Hendrick, who's batting, I think, 340. Makes a uh, South Amber, but Epson Mike Epson is in at South Amber. That's the lefty. And here goes. The pitch. Yeah, that's a 98. Ooh. So 98 is going to be out with an 8. And that's a fly ball. Moving fly ball to center field right there is Blair. And uh, no runs are hit. One left. And move to the top of the second inning. Frank Robinson. Power hitter Frank Robinson, 67. Struck him out. Fastball and gets Robinson. One down. Where is up next? The other thing I was to the tape. And it's a 76. And that'll be uh, again a memory. Nine is a fly ball center field. A couple of steps to his right. It is Monday. And he's there for out number two. No score here at the top of the second inning. With two outs and nobody on for the balls and the others who will go on to face. Um, seventy-one. And a zero three, and that's a deep drive off Etcheban. They're going to use that eight. It's Alameda. He's uh, so that's going to be a, if it falls within the park, it's going to be a fly ball. So let's roll on the deep drive chart. And eighty-two will be a drive. One hop off the wall. Thinking for seconds, Etchebarren, he's in there standing ahead of the throw. So he drove one in the gap, split the outfielders, and played off the wall by the center fielder Rick Monday. So a two out double puts a runner in scoring position here in the top of the second, with Davey Johnson up next. Johnson got 282, 72 RBIs, 18 runs. Here's the pitch, and it's a 39. And that will be an out. It will be. Pull down the line and backhanded by Banda. Long throw to first in the dirt, but scooped out by Epstein. Nice play by the Super Duke to retire the side. No runs. And hit one left. And we move to the bottom of the second. No score. Sal Banda leads off. Rip Sal Banda from Arizona State. And later played with the Kansas City Athletics. And then they moved in 68 to the Oakland. Uh, to open on the Academy Coliseum, uh, brand new Coliseum, Charlie Finley. Um, and from that point on, they really started in the open race and really started to blend to mess all the players that came up together. Reggie and, and, uh, and Monday and Rudy and so on. And uh, they ended up being five playoff, consecutive playoffs, three of which they moved to the World Championship and won it. South Amber was the captain of those great teams. Here's a pitch from Pat Barson. That's going to be 27 and it's wide and caught by the shortstop. The Landry goes up and brings it back down a little way at the tip of the glove. Here's Rick Monday left handed here. Now, see, Rick Monday does not have a circle, so he has no problem facing left. Um, that's a 45 out of the end, uh, one, which is popped up in the infield. Second baseman David Johnson calls for it. Two down. Dave Duncan is next. The A's can get it. Uh, that's going to be a 0 6. That's going to be a bounce up the middle and into center field for a base hit, a two out single for Dave Duncan. And it's Dick Green. Dick Green bats from the right side. He batted 244. 12 home runs and 49 RBIs. That's a 91. That's going to be a wild pitch. Duncan, this was the second base. Wild pitch right off the pitcher part right here. Wild pitch 91. No extra rolls or anything. That's the beauty of it. But you got to remember that 90-91 and then 99 will be a pass ball, potential pass ball. You have to check the catcher. And that's a, a pickoff, a P.O. is a pickoff. 
I pull into plus and there's a way so we're gonna get that. Alright, here's Dick Green again with the pitch, and that is a 97, which will be a right hit ground ball to the shortstop. Belanger up with it over the first, and that will kind of decide no runs. A hit, one left, in the scoring position, over to the top of the third. Who's coming up? Belanger, Dobson, and Buford. This time, Porter Clark and Dice TV. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, click on that little bell so you get alerted. To all my videos, I got tons of tutorials, tons of informational videos, lots of memorials, and on and on and on. Um, let's do it. When is this going to play? Oh, this was uh, July 19th, 1971. And here is some work That's right in 86 of the a fly ball to right field over is Hendrick. And he puts it away for out number one. Pitcher card Dobson is an A pitcher card. And I got my pitcher card right there. There's the pitch. And that's a 23 struck him out for the second strikeout of the game for Diego Segui. Check out my, uh, my 1974 Tom Seaver. Replay in the 1981 Bandle Memorial Replay. So keep an eye out for those on my channel. I also have a 1990 Reds Fall Classic Baseball going, as well as a 1976 and a 1959 Milwaukee Braves. So we got a lot going on on this channel, so keep an eye out. And uh, Don Buford, 58, that's going to be line base hit to uh, Ben Rough Center Field. He goes the opposite way. Slash one to the left center. Played by Monday. And it's shooting sure out. Now, now uh, let me see if you can steal. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, steal from 11. Not bad. Sigui. Hold rating is a plus one. So that makes it a 12. Let's look at our catcher. Our catcher. Is a, is a big one, uh, number there for his arm, so he's going to have a 12 or less. He steals the base on 2d10. And uh, so the two outs, he's going to go. Let's do it. 2d10. Let me push him inside. And it's a, uh, he's safe. The throw from um, Duncan and the tag, and he is in there. Stolen base for Buford. That's how easy it is to steal bases. That's how I do it. There is a part where you check for a lead. I don't believe in that. I don't need to do it because I don't overuse the mechanic. I actually have to force myself to see them more because I need to use it. So why am I going to make it more difficult for myself? It doesn't make any sense. So here's Tom Schultz. That's lefty. And uh, now if, if Diego Segui were a writing specialist with a circle, then she'll pay to get a little bit. Pitch and that's a snake eye, so that's a base hit. And let's see now, Buford with two outs is going to get oh, he's a run F, so he's fast, he's going to come very fast, and he's going to score on this single. And let me just go and check that. I have a few much my memory, I have a folder here. Let me, let me at the bottom. Two base advancement. Yes, very fast. Oh no, very fast. A uh, regular single is going to require me to a choice. And I will try to score here. So let me get the choice um, short. Let me see where that is. I hate when they have these interruptions. Okay, there's another choice. Alright, here's choice. Let's roll two dice. And that's a 67. He's very fast. Uh, 67. Very fast. He's safe. And Shopei. 
is fast and with two outs, he will go to second base. So an RBI single and an advance on the throw at home. I could have decided to cut it off and I forget to do that a lot of times. Anyway, stay the first. He's Brooks Robinson. So it's one nothing Baltimore. Pitch to Robinson. And that's a 20, which will be a line ball to left field. And right there is Moody. And Palm is off. One run on two hits. So the stolen base was huge. And we go to the bottom of the third. It's one nothing uh, right on top of it. So it's one nothing uh, Baltimore. And Diego Segui got his batting card. Most pitchers come with a batting card to 60. Uh, Diego Dobson. And that's a ball that's in the hole. And the lander stops it. And no throw. Segui beats it out. So Segui with an infield single. And he's on it first. I hope there's only pause. This is Larry Brown. Pitch the Brown on 81. Would be some kind of an out of two. It was a slow ground ball to first base. That would move City over the second. G3. This is Joe Rudy running on second base to tie him in place. Sam Rudy, which for Dobson, would be 98. And that would be a five, which is a hard hit ground ball to the second baseman. That would allow us to be the new over. So, two outs. And here's George Hendrick. Hendrick already single. Thompson checks in with Etchie Baron for the sign. The belt deals. And that's a 24, which would be a defensive lookup. And an 11 defensive lookup, that would be the second baseman. Second base would better be a five, but I don't think he is. David Johnson. David Johnson is a what? Let's see. He is a three second baseman, so that will be a. That will be a base hit. And that will score. So he in the game is high. George Hendrick with the second hit of the day. Drives in the tiny run here in the bottom of the third. Now it's Mike Epstein. Mike Epstein has a good power. Epstein, let's see how many runs he's got so far in the season. Um, let's see. Epstein has a total of 14 home runs on the season so far. His uh, real total is 19. He's not an everyday player. So let's see if we can make the one hand for Fisher Dobson and then 36 and a 7 will be a deep drive to right field backing up is Chopay to the track to the wall and then makes the catch. So one run and two hits and the game is tied. At one apiece. We go to the top of the fourth inning. So Mike Epstein drove one deep but did not carry it out. Here's Frank Robinson, Paul Blair. Uh, next, and then it's such a day in the hole. Pitch from Sagi, it's a 74 on the, the line out and caught by Bando in third. So Robinson rips one, but Bando goes up and brings it back down. He's Paul Blair who would fly out to center field. That's a 92 and zero, and that's a hard and caught by Bando again in back to back line out to the third baseman. Two outs, nobody on. Andy Etchebarren, Etchebarren doubles. Etchebarren's a 270 hitter. And a 68, and that'll be strike three. Got him. No runs, no hits. They up, they down. How many fourth year we come? It's bad to bring off against Pat Dobson. 20 games. Pat Dobson on 20, 20 games. And a uh, pitch. 0 9, that's going to be a bouncer. And up the middle, and nobody will get to it. So, Bando. Hit it, hit it where they ain't for a base hit. Next is Rick Monday. And the 23 will be a strikeout. And he checks his swing and they asked the third base umpire. He went around. And Monday doesn't like it. Here's Dave Duncan, who singled earlier at 73. That will be a defensive check. 
and away will be ground ball to second. And he said that Johnson was a three, he was second for one, no throw to first. As Bannon went in hard and broke up the possibility of a double play. They, uh, oh, Andrew just couldn't get the throw off. Bando went in with spikes high. And here's Dick Green. Thompson checks in with Etcher down. So the belt deals, and that is a 47. That'll be off Green, and the one is popped up middle infield. So it is an odd number, I believe. That's the second baseman, I believe. And that entire side, no runs. One hit, one left. And we go to the top of the fifth inning. So I'll tie it one with a good game going here. Uh, Teddy Johnson is going with an 80. And a two with the uh, slow grounder right back to the mound. So he feels his position and throws out Johnson. One of the Mark Belanger, he fly out to right. Pitch to Belanger, 57. That's line base hit. So a little chick swing that gets over the infielder's head and drops in. And the Belanger's on at first. Now let's see what kind of base deal the Belanger is. He's a, he's a nine. And then, of course, if he's plus one, that's a ten. So we're going to try to steal. There he goes. And he's out. So the pitcher up to the two, four. Pitcher Dobson should be, uh, I'm not sure if he bats left to ready. Anyway. Um, Dobson is up, here's a pitch, and that is a 78. And a 5 would be hard to bolt to second base to end the inning, so no run is a hit. Nobody left. And it, uh, Duncan does a good job of throwing out for Andrew. And Siggy leads off the bottom of the fifth inning, so I'll tie him in with a pitch, and that is a 68. Strike three to call on Siggy. Looks like a statue holding the bat. And here's Larry Brown with a 20, and that would be a 3, which is a bouncer to third base. Picked up by Robinson and a strike to first. Gets him two out. Here's Joe Rudy, who's 0 for 2 today. He's going to be 0 for 3, got 46 on the twos. A slow tapper right back to the round. Drops him with it. Goes out. Be up on the 3 down. Next is Don Buford leading on at the top of the sixth inning. He's going to that's an 11, and that is a check swing with a Texas leaguer, and it drops in for single. So, briefly, he's only really stole one base. Uh, got to steal another one. It could be a hit and run. It should be. doesn't have a lot of strikeouts in this. He is a good hit and run guy. Let's do a quick hit and run here. He is hit and run, so he's really two guys. And then he was 24. Oh, actually, he's got a. 24 will be here, and it's going to be, uh, kind of, it's now the regular out. So look it up, uh, hit and run, and we're going to look out, look up the code to determine the final result. So it's a slow ground to the third, or 5S. So 5S. That is the number one here. Okay, it's just a, yeah, it says right here. Ground ball what is played as four, slow ground out, runner advances. So it's a G3, Bando up with it, only one play, and that's the first runner advances, exactly what the doctor ordered. That's why you hit and run, really, to advance the runner to stay out of the double play. All right, here's Brooks Robinson. Robinson grounded out to a double play and fly out. Sigi so takes the sign. From Duncan, he's ready to roll. And it's a fly with a 16, and that's ball four. So Brooks Robinson takes ball four, and Sigi wanted that call, not happy, he's muttering to himself, and uh, out goes Etchebin. I'm sorry, out goes Duncan to talk to Sigi. Frank Robinson is next here in the sixth. Now let me check the starter points. Those are pretty high. 11 and 13 are pretty high. So. I'm going to play some uh, modern. I was playing 2019 for a while. That's for 10 games over 500 in 2019. Uh, it's a lot different. You've got to bring in a lot more pitchers and 
if you're going to learn how to learn the Nova Team 60s team or 70s team. All right, uh, here's Frank Robinson. And Diego said you better proceed with caution, that's for sure. Because uh, there's always a danger. Powerful man. Here's the pitch from Sabino. And that's going to be a 30, which will be a lot of work. I have now popped up. The Nova field. Nova um, who is a green on the shortstop come together and it's green he makes the play. So two away, first and second got Brook Robinson first and we got Don Buford at second. Paul Blair. He's up, he's all for two, he'll fly out in the lineup and the pitch from Sabu. An eighty two and that'll be it for the inning. It's a fly ball left field. Left center field, Rudy and Monday converge and who's he gonna be Rudy? Takes it at the last minute. No runs, one hit, two left. You know, the bottom of the sixth, all tied at one. George Hendrick, who's two for two with two singles in an RBI, leads off. On deck is Epstein, and then in the hole is Bannon. Here's Pat Dobson. One of deals, and that's a 20, which would be a strike. Three got him. So Hendrick goes down swimming. And uh, Epstein. With good power, you may get a hold of one here. Uh oh. And then you, you know what? Last time I think I know, last time I used the floor, so we're going to use that. And that ball is a deep drive. It's going to be one hop off the wall. So it's a one out double here for Epstein. Throw his leg to second base, goes in standing. Sal Banders up next. Just missed the home run there. Going very high for the home run. That would be 0 52. So Bando steps in the box. Bando has a good eye. And Pat Dobson checks in. And that's your band. Looks at Epstein at second base. Epstein is the go ahead run. Bottom of the sixth, all tied at one. You're playing deep drive baseball. Like and subscribe to my channel. Check out Universal Baseball Association Facebook group. It's the Facebook group that is different from all the rest. And a pitch to Bando. Rip. Bando. Uh, he's in the MVP battle for multiple years. And he's, I think, running up to the MVP in 71 for his pitch. And that is a 23, which will be a defensive check. Let's see what happens. And that is a 44, which is a one base error on the shortstop. So it's an E6, and that will allow Epstein to go to third. So ground ball to the shortstop, Blanger, and he bobbles it, and everybody's safe. So infield's going to be in now, Rick Monday. Let me check for the infield in so I can have them nearby. All right, so it's first and third, and uh, we're going to hold Epstein at third base unless Monday gets a hit. Now line out, the infield's going to play in. Line outs will be singles as well as doubles. Let's see what we roll. So Pat Thompson deals, and it's an 88. That will be off Thompson. And three is a ground ball to third. Moving to second will be Bando. So, so G5. Third first is in time to get Monday. Two outs now in second and third. And here's Dave Dunson. And Duncan with a 0 9, that's a base hit. Run to a score, and Duncan has just given the A's the lead. Bando at second base, he's going to try to score. There's two outs, so he becomes an F. And then try to score on the choice chart, and he is safe. Two run single for Dave Duncan. And let's get that choice chart. Just to be sure. And this, yeah, 32. He is safe. Now, one thing that you may want to do as a tweet, I always found that this choice chart was too easy. Although, you know, I use it when it's obvious that the guy's going to be safe. So. But even a slow guy is safe from five to six to one. That's that's almost like fifty-five percent chance of being safe. 
very slim guy. He's got a 34% chance of being safe. That's, you see, I don't advance with those, so they never bother me. I'm going to be in this area. 5 to 82 for an average guy. There's a small hold rate, and you may want to increase that hold rate. Because um, you don't want guys going out all the time either. Anyway, you have to look at that. That's. Alright, so Duncan with a big two run single. A two out single, so he comes up big in the clutch, and it's uh, Dick Green. He's up now. He's over two. Here's a pitch, and that's a 25 defensive check. And I look at the chart which I have up, and 95 will be to the center fielder. And that may be a two base error with center fielder Delaya. And then the glare is going to be. Remember, he's a good center fielder. There will be a four center fielder, and he will run back down, I believe, in 95. And he does. What a great catch by Paul Blair. So really the guys that are outstanding fielders are going to behave as outstanding fielders. The ace, like a 3 to 1 lead, doesn't go to the top of the seventh inning. So Green flies out to win the gap to Blair. He runs it down, turned on the Jets, read it well off the bat, and caught up to it. That would have been a double or a triple for sure. And the edge down leads off the top of the seventh inning. It's two runs on two hits in the air. So the manager here across the Orioles. Here's pitcher man with a 99. That's going to be some sort of an error. It's going to be on the ground. One hopper to short. Four. Yep. And the round makes a good play. Makes his David Johnson. 29 and that is a combo. Left side, shortstop, third baseman come together and it's Fran Formant. Landry now with a 28 and a 5 and that's bounced to second base. Scooped up by Green and that is at number 3. Easy in for Diego Segui. Diego Segui has an 11. Let's count up. He's got six before that seventh inning. Oh, let's say seven. Seven innings plus two through the lineup. That is nine. He's given up the run. So that's ten. He hasn't given up five. He hasn't allowed five base runners in any inning. So he's, he's got one more inning he can go. And then I play him until he allows a base runner and he gets pulled. And the low is a uh, pitcher friendly. All right, so here in the bottom of the seventh, Steven said he didn't want to get past Dobson. And the pitch, it's a 31. That'll be off Sidney's card and the strikeout. Second time, Sidney strikes out. Dobson steps down from the mound and throws a rising back. And uh, he's ready to go. He looks in at Etchabin. And he winds and deals to Larry Brown, who's over 3 today. And it's a 20. With the three, bouncer the third, charging is Brooks Robinson. Go to first, then time to break ground. Joe Rudy's next, he's over three. I'd like to make a good hit. One of my favorite players, he's a five and a half feet. His pitch, and yeah, that is a 96 out of the amount of the three. And that's bounced to Robinson as well. And Robinson throws him out. The three up and three down. And uh, now we're going to bring in a pinch hitter. So it's Merv Redman who's going to pinch hit. Pinch hitter. And the eighth. Well, the eighth. Here's a pitch from Sagi. That's a zero nine. 9 That's line base hit. He strokes one. The left center field. And the tying run comes to the plate. And Don Buford. And that is, uh, that goes through the lineup the third time. So you've done seven, goes through the lineup the third time. So that's ten. He doesn't give you a thing yet. So he's gone seven innings through the lineup three times. That's ten. He's given up the run. And earned run. And that makes it eleven. He's got eleven, twenty points. So he will 
be tired the next batter that he allows to reach base. So after the next base run. Tom Buford is up with, as the time runs. He's a switcher, the best from the left side against the game. He the pitch, and that is a 99, which will be an out. That's wide and caught by the third baseman. Now, Pete a double play. Bando grabs it, and he whips it across. He's done it to first, and at the end of time, so it's an 0 5. One away here on the top of the year. Next up is Tom Shipley. And the pitch, and that is a 94 with a six hard hit ball at the shortstop. That's going to go Brown to Green to Epstein, and that's a sole question in the ending. Double play, no run, one hit, nobody left. And uh, great job by Diego Sidi Getting out of that inning, the bottom of the eighth, there's going to be a pitcher on the mound for the Orioles. Who's a big guy named Pete Rickert? He's a lefty facing George Hendrick, who's two for three today. And the 40, 46 will be a five. Ripped to short, picked up by Belanger. Go to first at any time. And the way here's Epstein. And that is at 35. Just missed the defensive zone. And that's a roller to the shortstop. Back to back put outs for the shortstop. Assists for the shortstop. And here is Salvando. Salvando with 58. That is ball four. Salvando walks. He's one for three. He's been on base three times. One's on a single, one's on an arrow, one's on the walk. Rest in peace. Salvando, check out my Salvando Memorial 1981 using the classic replay baseball set. Rick Monday now with a run in the first and two outs. The A's lead it 3 to 1. He's Rickard, this is the lefty Monday. Lefty on left, he the pitch, it's a 73. Strike three, got him. No runs, no hits, a walk, one left. Go to Tom Hanks, last licks. And you know what? We are going to go to the bullpen. Okay, so it's going to be Raleigh Fingers coming in here to pick up a potential save. The A's lead it 3-1. It's the top of the nine. Butch Robinson, Frank Robinson, and Paul Blair will be batting. So Raleigh Fingers has his hands full. He will be facing the heart of the Baltimore Oriole order. Baltimore Orioles in this replay are, I think, 70-20. I think that's what their record is. And uh, today it's 0-2 for, for Brooks Robinson with a walk into a double play in that first inning. And here's the pitch. Remember, you throw three ten sided die, you the red and the white, and then, of course, the green die will give you some information on the out or something else. And that's going to be a 12, which will be a base hit. He strokes one. And uh, the time run is at the plate now. Frank Robinson, that good at power, 5 to 50, actually 0 to 57. Here we go, here's a pitch, and then that is a 64, which will be a strikeout. So a curveball gets Robinson. And it looked like he wanted to tie it over one swing of the day. Here's Paul Blair. Good from fingers, uh, 54, and that is a line drive. Base hit. Stopping at second will be Robinson. It is a single plus, and I believe it's going to be like a pass. So let me check. Um, he's slow. Yeah, so I'm going to hold him up. Get your bearings up now. First and second time runs are on the base. Same way to the I don't know if you have. I have a good power. Let me go to the good thing. Good power. Going to step in the box. He's a lefty hitter. He hit 22 home runs with a 256 average. Valley Fingers checks in with Duncan. And he sets the deals. And that is a 53. That, ooh, just missed being a deep drive. It's a base hit. And that's going to load the bases. The bases were loaded with only one out. And here's Raleigh Fingers. He's, uh, the, the Orioles are hitting the ball hard. And it's going to be Davey Johnson now. Second baseman with 18 home runs with a 282 average. And Raleigh Fingers checks in. With Duncan, it sets and deals. And that's a 77, and that will be a 6. 
going to be at the second baseman. Goes to second for one. Back to first. Double play. And that was one, two. Three double plays turned by Oakland. And that was the ball game. That was the difference. There. No runs. Three hits. Three double plays for the Warriors. And that um, final score. Three to one. So it's going to be uh, three to one Oakland, one nine one for Baltimore, and three seven one for the Athletics. The victory is going to go to Dobson. Who's going to be five? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the loss goes to Dobson. The victory goes to Segui, and he will be five and two. The loss goes to Dobson, and he will be. 14 and 6. And his fingers will pick up a save. That will be his 10th save of the season. Uh, what else? It's going to be 56 and 36 for the A's. And 70 and 22 for the Warriors. I believe we've got another game with the Warriors coming up. Alright, so uh, let me check out the, the schedule. Let me play through this day. And we get to the uh, Tuesday, July 20th. I think we play another game with the Orioles. And we did. It's Mike Cuellar versus. Oh no, I did not do it. Oh, we play Cleveland, so I'm going to have to print out Cleveland. I don't think I have to print it out. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to go stop. Okay, I'll stop there. Um, Chuck Dobson will be going. I want to uh, print out the... The score sheet. So, uh, done. All right, so uh, let's let's find out if we have clean or we're going to get back to it. So we printed out the sheet, and now we're going to get back to it and see. Um, have to check and see if I have the Cleveland Indian, uh, Indians, not the Guardians yet. This is 1971, and uh, we'll see if it's a two, three game set and uh, start organizing for that. So uh, stay tuned and. Uh, Remember to like and subscribe and click on that little bell so you're notified. And then we'll continue my, my deep drive baseball games to uh, see if I can eventually complete this, this replay. And uh, four or five replays going simultaneously. Luckily, I have all this uh, technology to aid me in the stat keeping and tracking of the pitchers and the rotation and all that. I can't imagine being able to do this back in the 70s when it was just a I had my hands full just keeping up with doing the American League East. That was a little challenge. So now I'm able to do way more, way faster. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Tony Porter, President of the Dice TV, signing out.